Hello, my name is Space Ace. I'm going to show you some tips on how to survive longer in Dead Sky. First thing we're going to do is go into Options, change the key bindings, uh, the Action button for picking up weapons, placing turrets, healing turrets, moving turrets. Uh, I like to set that to Spacebar. And then Reload, I like to change that to the right mouse click. So that I'm left mouse clicking to shoot and right mouse click to reload. Save and apply. And now let's get a game. Now, if this is your first time playing, uh, you can jump right into single player mode, and there's a short tutorial on level one. Uh, however, it only goes over the basics shooting, reloading, uh, picking up stuff. It doesn't really go over building your defenses and how to use your items. That's kind of what I'm going to show you. Uh, it's fun. However, this game gets really interesting and complex in the multiplayer mode, and that's what I'm going to be showing you. Alright, so to get a game going, let's go ahead and click on host a game. And if you're playing by yourself, really the only two levels that you want to play is island or cabin. Uh, they're the only two small enough that you can actually hold out by yourself long enough. Uh, and here we can sit in the lobby and wait for people to join, or we can go ahead and start by ourselves. Now, depending on how many people are playing, uh, is how strong the zombies will be. So, the more people playing, the more shots it'll take to kill them, and thus is a little bit harder. So, let's begin. Okay, so to start out, I'll come show you these items in the workbench. Here you have some items that you can buy to use to make your defenses. Here are the three different turrets, and here are the three different upgrades that you can get. And each one of these has four levels, uh, and they increase in 25 scrap metal in cost each. Each level they increase in cost by 25 scrap metal. Uh, the first one is defenses. This reduces the amount of damage you take. Uh, very useful to stay alive since you recover some health between each round and slowly over time. Uh, the next upgrade is the support. Probably one of my favorites. This lets you uh, repair your turrets at the cost of four scrap metal um, to repair a little bit of its HP. Uh, and that actually comes out better than having to buy a new turret each time. So that's really important in keeping your turrets alive and make it last longer into the later levels of the game. And then we have the offensive upgrade, which fires three shots at a time. Uh, actually, it doesn't use three of your ammo, it's just one bullet, I guess miraculously and magically turn into three bullets and goes out in a cone in front of you, which is really nice for taking down groups of zombies. Also does a little bit more damage, I think. I'm not really sure. Okay, so how I like to start <clears throat> is by one gun turret. And I take him three paces off the front right corner of the cabin. He will protect this right side and bits of this frontal right side region. And I will cover the left side. And I will run over there periodically to pick up the scrap metal. Because you need lots and lots. Now, I'm not very good at making videos and commentary and all that kind of crap. So I'm just going to focus on playing. Uh, and keeping my screen capture program from timing out constantly. And I'll do the best to tell you what's going on as I play. Looks like we did it. So I get a five scrap metal bonus at the end of the round. Boom. Look at that, 40 scrap metal. So I'll buy another turret, put him about right. Yeah. If I don't like that, you can also move them around a little bit. I could even... Come on now. I could run and move him over to this side. Oh, what? 
gross. There we go. Ugh, I've taken way too much damage. So Picking up a lot of scrap metal. So I'm not doing so great this game. It, you got a lot of scrap metal to spin. Oh, you're back. Put a little fence in front of it, make them a little stronger. Granted, this game is better with friends playing multiplayer. In fact, it's just flat out epic. But uh, I like I like playing by myself a lot too. Oh, oh electric fire does good. If only I can find where the tunnel. Are. Could have used that on the tunnel, or that would have been awesome. Wow, this is such a terrible start. I'm not gonna last long. Okay, so cool things. Alright, I like to build up my defenses by building uh, several fences out here. I died. I didn't last very long. So, that was, uh, not too great. I'll show you another level. So, now I'm going to show you how to last longer than a minute and a half on Outpost by yourself. Just go in here, Did you, uh, buy a turret, and run to the generator. Basically, we're just going to Use this turret to sit down here guarding the generator, and I'll go hang out by the transmitter. Wink. Alright. And that's all. Basically, now I just hang out here, and just that one turret will protect the generator. And I'll live up here, and doing nothing more than that will keep me alive and on the leaderboards better than a minute and a half. Of course, to get, to get really high, you gotta be really creative. Uh, I can't tell you all my secrets. Hey man, shit, why alone? Stupid Mongolians. Well, I ended up getting really into it and only got to 7 minutes, 54 seconds, by myself on, what's this level called? Outpost. So there you go. Use turrets to protect the generator, and you protect the transmitter. However, it's much more fun with friends.